at 115 pounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my right. He comes to us from the UFC gym. Ladies and gentlemen, Juan Quinnum. And his opponent, standing directly across the cage, fighting out of the red corner to my left. He's an independent fighter tonight, making his MMA debut. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Miles. Miles in the American flag trunks and Keenome in the white, red, and blue. I'm excited for this fight. I want to see with Miles. I know he has an extensive wrestling background. He was a state champion in Maine. That's right, out of Mountain Valley. You know that's his bread and butter. Keenom looks light on his feet, bouncing around there. Land a big kick, but you know he's going to be looking to stuff takedowns. You got to think for the majority of the fight. There's such such a height and reach advantage here. He's throwing fire though, Juan. Miles is doing a good job right there, checking his level, looking like he's going to dip down, just keeping Keenum on his uh, on his toes, understanding that this is a state champion wrestler you're going against. You have to be very cautious about the takedown. Ooh. Big overhand right by Juan misses. Yeah. Boy, definite huge height and reach advantage here in this fight for Miles. Looks like Miles landed a nice straight right there. He's doing a good job of dictating the pace of where this fight goes. Keenum lands a nice right leg kick. Miles still pressing him back up against the cage. Oh, big kick nice. by Keenum. He put a lot into that kick. Yeah, it looked like he was bouncing around with some confidence after that yeah. one. Well, you know what? He's on to something. He's moving around enough to where he's throwing him off balance for the takedown. Yeah, and, he, and he's keep going, he keeps going for that lead leg, which is huge, because you know that might make Miles have to switch his stances up. I'm surprised that we actually haven't seen Miles go for a takedown yet. He hasn't, he hasn't shot, which I thought he'd be doing within the first minute of, of the fight. Yeah, I mean, for all we know, maybe he's working his stand up enough he's, he's confident, or at least wants to test the waters. Nice counter left, touched, uh, touched Miles there by Juan. There he goes, attacking that leg again. Yeah. He's, he's landed right in the same spot a bunch so far. There it is again. And you can see Miles switched up stances a little bit right there. Yeah. Look, it doesn't take many of those to start feeling it. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're seeing leg kicks just being implemented more and more frequently in MMA now. I mean, they're ending fights. Leg it kicks are ending, ending fights. fights. There we go. The first takedown attempt by Miles. An easy one. But the round's going to come to an end. Not well, really sure what happened at the end of that first round. Initially, I thought Keenum thought that Miles may have tapped there at the right. end of the first round. But I, I think he's complaining about something he did with his, his gloves. Yeah, the doctor came in, checked him out. But he's all clear. I'm not sure what happened there. Keenum has Johnny Cupcakes Campbell, Campbell in his corner tonight. That is a nice cornerman to have. Bellator fighter that beat Henry Corrales last time out. Huge, huge win for him. Let's see if Miles goes for the takedown a little earlier here. Oh! oh! Nice uppercut by Miles, but Juan's not going anywhere. He's coming back full force. Got to be careful. Don't get too wild. Oh, what a shot by Miles. All right, so we can't question the chin on Juan, clearly. Absolutely not. I mean, that was a monster shot uh, right there. A lot there. of guys are down and out after that. Yeah. And this kid's tough. I mean, you, you can just see the way he moves in there. He's a fighter. 
hundred percent. And I think Miles knows that. And you see, even when he did try that first takedown, I mean, Juan ended up like he's looking for a submission there. He landed, putting Miles in a compromising position. So I think Miles realizes, you know, just how dangerous Juan is, and he's showing him respect. And, and Juan's having an issue right now with that right hand. Juan needs to get back to the game plan from round one. Attack that lead leg. Yeah, Juan just keeps circling to his left. Miles is stalking his prey. Look like they're ready to bite down on their mouthpiece and start swinging again. Another nice leg kick there from Juan. Miles just keeps pushing up against the fence. Looking to land another big bomb. Miles is just coming forward. Nice tricky little left uppercut there for Juan. Miles looking for that front kick. Oh, nice overhand right by Juan. Miles shakes it off. Wow. You know, I know he's got a wrestling background, but I'll, Miles has a nice stiff jab, man. No, no, he does. He does. And yeah. you can tell maybe he is just looking to work on his stand-up here. I mean, th this is what the amateur ranks exactly. are for, right? You know, you, you need to work on everything. It doesn't matter. You know, what matters is what your professional record is. Yeah. As Miles has yeah, him go. hurt again the against the cage. And this round's going to end. Here we go. Round three. Really interesting fight thus far between two debuting amateur mixed martial artists here. Both showing uh, some nice skill and, and hard in there. Now, I'm not a judge, but could you make a case that we're one-to-one -one going into this round after what Juan was able to do with the leg kicks in round one? It, you know, man, I... I don't know. Maybe I, I personally feel like Miles is up two to nothing. I mean, sure. if, if, if you look. And I agree with you. He's been the one dictating where the fight goes. He's yeah. constantly pushing Juan back, you know, and, and he landed the, the, the bigger shots here thus far in the fight. Although, you know, as you said, tip your cap to Juan. He's landed a lot of leg kicks. He's definitely a game fighter. As, as I speak, he lands another leg kick right there. However, I do think Miles is, is winning the exchanges. He's dictating the pace. Uh, I, th I have him up two to nothing, but. Yeah, he's shown great ring generalship tonight. But there's still time in this round for Juan to uh, flip the script. Juan loves that leg kick. Yeah, he does. I'm just really impressed by, by Juan's movement. Yeah, like, me too. He moves, look at that, look at that. I mean, he just moves very well. He, he, he can telegraph uh, a lot of what it looks like Miles is throwing and I mean, yeah, he's got clipped a couple times, but for the most part, like, he's bobbing and weaving. He, he looks pretty good in there, especially for a debuting amateur. Uh, gets Juan off his feet. Juan says, all right, respect. Whoa, that one. That one all just missed. If that would have landed, that could have been night-night right there. Yeah, well, who knows with Juan's chin. That uppercut he took before was insane. Yeah, yeah, luckily he had the, the cage right there to keep him up. Good fight, though, regardless. The tattoo that's on uh, Miles' right shoulder, is that the Punisher? It kind of looks like the Punisher, doesn't it? The Punisher logo? Oh. Can't see yeah. it from this angle, but. I, I think so. Man, those are some wild punches right there, and it just it goes right back to what I was saying earlier about Juan's movement. You know, he, his movement is so good a lot of times, it, it makes... Miles look almost a little wild, and I don't want to disrespect him by saying he's no, wild. No, in there, you're 100% right. The way he uses all the space in the octagon was impressive. 
Yeah. How about a round of applause to both of these fighters? After three hard-fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Sean Flanagan scores the fight 29-28 for Juan Quinnum. Judge Dave Ginsburg scores the fight 29-28 for Matt Miles. And Judge Steve Rita scores the fight 29-28 for your winner via split decision, Matt. Mouth!